a fake alipay merchant was caught and exposed and i'm going to show you in this video so let's get started well before we begin in the tutorial as you know me my name is rafi yaku i'm a procurement agent importer and importation coach if you want to contact me for importation business you want me to coach you step by step on how you can be a procurement agent or you want me to procure your link on 1688 tauba or on pindodo you can contact me on whatsapp via the number in the description of this video so with that being said, so let's dive into tutorial and see the fake Alipay merchant vendor on Instagram, okay? But, but before we dive deep, and uh, if you don't really know what Alipay merchant simply means, Alipay merchants, it's always happen all over the world, most especially if you don't have a Chinese bank card and you want to fund your Alipay. That is when you are going to need the service of an Alipay merchant, okay? Alipay merchant is just like an intermediary between you and the exchange of yuan, which is Chinese currency. You give Alipay merchant your country currency or whatever currency they approve in order to get your Alipay account funded successful. But in, some, in this process, some people get scam while some people try to fund their Alipay account. Maybe because they were not much uh experience about how this thing works and in the process some a lot of people lost a lot of money in the process of getting a legit and a reliable alipay merchant to fund their alipay most especially if you are not in china you are not a chinese because it's only chinese bank card that was accept to fund alipay account successful so in this video i'm going to show you some of the uh one of the victims and how the scammer was caught and uh, in the process then where by the time you learn all these simple tricks you will be able to understand and how you can deal with a fake alipay merchant and how you can protect yourself from fall a victim of getting scammed from all these fraudulent and fake alipay merchants that paraded themselves as an exchanger okay so for Alipay merchants, you can connect with Alipay merchants whether from their website, you can connect with them from WhatsApp, you can connect with any one of them from Facebook or on Instagram. Whichever platform you connect with your Alipay merchant, just make sure that you are dealing with the rightful person. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you a case, a life case that, that happened between somebody that wants to fund their Alipay account and was defraud. And you will be surprised, this Alipay merchant is a fake merchant. By the time I show you everything in this video, you are going to be seeing it. Because not everything you see on some pages, on Instagram, or Facebook, or on website are also legit. Even on Telegram, there are a lot of fake information. And by the time you pull in your fund, then you lose guard. Once you lose guard, you lose money. But what you need to do, I'm going to show you in this video so this case is going to be between instagram and whatsapp and the victims of the funding and the alipay merchant froster so let's get started so i'm going to head over to my whatsapp right here i'm going to head over to my whatsapp so because the person contacts me from my channel just like every other person so here is the victim so i'm going to open up the our chat right here and uh, we start from the victim so this is the person that got scammed by this notorious scammer. So this person chatted me from my uh, YouTube channel. I need your assistance. So uh, I asked the person what's really happened. He said, I paid someone on Instagram to form my Alipay, but has refused to, to do so. But we chatted on Alipay and how can I report him as a scam to Alipay and get my money back? Now, this is one, This is the first question and my response to this is that you cannot report this case because transaction was not occurring in Alipay. There are things you need to know. In situation like this, if you, don't, if you did not carry out transaction on Alipay, you cannot report the froster. Even there are some Alipay transactions you can report and then you will not get your money back. This is because this fund here, when you are trying to send fund on Alipay, you are only cover. When you are trying to send money, if you are in China, there are responsibility of getting your fund back. But in a situation whereby you are in Africa country, American or European, and you want to get your money back, in fact, your Alipay merchants may not even be a Chinese. 
you understand so it may be difficult for alipay to get you your fund back so in this case chatting with a merchant on alipay does not guarantee your security in terms of funding transaction so it's not guarantee once the money gone it has gone and gone forever as far as alipay is concerned so if you report to alipay the only thing alipay is going to do for you is to flag the account and you can imagine somebody defrauded you your hard hand money and you report and they block the person is that the right solution for you no so you have to take note of that so chatting with somebody chatting with alipay exchanger or alipay merchant or alipay vendor does not on, on, on alipay does not guarantee you a fund transaction security so you need to understand that so so that is my response to that and i met him on instagram his name is this so this is the person instagram handle so uh when he sent me this so i told him to let us start on alipay because i'm, I'm scared of scams but eventually she got scammed because this person right here is a notorious scammer and i'm going to prove to you i'm going to show you everything so let me click on the, the this is their chat on alipay his name is akere Ola, things like that and this lady tried to chat him on alipay just to be sure and be secure not knowing that what she's doing is not the right thing to do so this is where this 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 victim for okay so if you chat him chat him on alipay that does not mean anything then this is where he, he provide the account now on for alipay merchant and alipay transaction it come in different ways some merchants you pay them on their website where some merchants you transfer to their bank account so this is just a local transaction it's not has to do with internet or international transaction it's a local transaction i'm giving you my local currency and you are giving me alipay in return so now he sent money so he sent money to to the uh money exchanger the alipay vendor so uh credit me for the first time i will send the rest as up so this is the first time this person is doing business with this uh scammer all right so now i paid 500 what she is trying to tell her that she's going to get 500 you hand say yes sir so i promise to send the rest credit and i will buy more so uh wait to confirm nera deposit okay sir so you can see all the information right here i sent money from kuda because it is faster than ubh so if you are in nigerian you should be familiar with these two bank uh bank name kuda is a microfinance bank while ubh is a standard uh commercial bank so that is how the transaction went so now this is where the story changed the story change changed from this point here i'm with you a moment please okay i'm waiting so after waiting please reply me i'm scared here please he try to send a cry emoji please reply me mr kinsa i beg you in the name of god things like that peace it is not my money you can imagine i don't know why people have mind to go out to go ahead and defraud other people hard earned money whether it is your sweat money or somebody people money do you deserve to be scammed in the first place this is what we need to ask ourselves i don't really know the kind of mind the kind of heart all these scammers have in their whole uh, entire life so you can imagine this last statement here it is not my money he doesn't care because he has been doing this thing for a very long time so now this is my personal role and i finally confirmed that this person is a pure scammer and i told the lady that what is going to happen now is to report to the report the transaction to the bank and then to your bank so when this lady reports so at this point here i has i'm sorry about your experience chatting with someone on alipay so now he said if i'm not buying more it will sell so i asked for the price he said it's one thing this is another red flag please for god's sake nobody can sell rmb at one ten rate for you at the times of making this video as at the time of making this video rmb now is 118 naira to your hand at the parallel market which is authentic black market rate so anything lesser than 117 is going to be something else okay so even this 110 should give this particular person a red flag that 
if you make payments to this merchant, your money is going. That is just the truth. All right. So now, when I told her, the price given is enough to give you a sign that you will be scammed. That was my response. So he's trying to tell me that I didn't know RMB was high then because my exchanger did it for me for one day. I saw the three days ago, but because she said it is not available, I just messaged him and I was later realized it was high. Now, right here, the advice I want to give you guys here is that if you're dealing with a procurement agent or you have an authentic and genuine exchanger, do not disturb yourself. Stick with your business partner if you don't want to lose money. Okay, so now this is where I come in. This is the person Instagram handle. So let me take you to their Instagram. Then you will conclude with me that how can this be a scammer? Because of what they post on Instagram. And this is why I told you guys that not everything you see on the internet is actually true. Okay? So let's head over to Instagram. I have copied their Instagram handle. Then I will go, I will take you to their Instagram. So uh, right here, this is my Instagram. All right, so I'm going to search for their name on Instagram. I'm going to click on search bar right here. So we are doing this just to enlighten you guys more. Then I will paste their username on the search engine right here. So this is the result. Alipay, WeChat, and bank payment. This is what they claim they are doing. But believe me, they are 100% fake Alipay merchant. So let's click on it and uh, we check them out. Take a look at their page right here. They have about 158 posts. They have 1,783 followers and they are following 116 people. Now, don't be deceived by the number of followers. All these followers here, they might be a ghost or both or machine followers, fake followers. That is what some of these people does. Now, the service they claim to render is alternative, uh, alternate payment solution for business in Africa and beyond. Alternate. This should give you a red flag. This is not an official statement. It's a very wrong sentence. Okay. Now, we buy uh, plus buy and ship. So, they claim to be a procurement agent or so. Then, pay Chinese merchants. Send and receive money globally, anytime, anywhere. Okay. Now, let's check out their post. Take a look at it. So, if you are carried away with what they're posting on right here, you are about to lose guard. And once you lose guard, you lose money. That's just the truth. So, let's see. So, everything they post here has to do with exchange. So, let's scroll down and uh, we see more posts. So, you can see that all posting here are proof of payment screenshot. And I can tell you all this proof here are fake screenshot that they pick on Google randomly. Now, let me click on their first post, uh, the last post right here, which is this 5,000 yuan as a proof of payment. Let me click on that. It's a video. Okay. All right. So the last posting was July 6. So one of the reasons why you know that this is a fake account is that you can imagine an account that have 1,000 followers that does not have likes. These are the things you need to take into consideration. If you are doing online business, you have to be very careful and vigilant. Now, somebody that have almost 2,000 likes, take a look at all their posts right here. There is no posting here that have at least 10 likes. How come? That is where you need to ask, your ask yourself some question that, is this account genuine? These are the things you need to know about social media uh security and protections okay so take a look at it so all these things here they are just posting to a robot on woman on genuine okay so let's go back to their account now what i did was that after i contact them on instagram they did not reply me to my dm then i contact them on whatsapp i disguise as if i want to buy rmb believe me let me click on their WhatsApp and then you will be amazed with what you, you are going to see there. 
Take a look at their WhatsApp number here. Everything I'm showing you here in the victim section, make sure you are taking note of it. You may come across them in the future. And don't forget to share this video to any importers that you know that they have they can be in this category of sourcing for RMB. So please and please try to share this video to as many as possible importers or people that are drilling with China business. So this is their WhatsApp number and uh, this is their Instagram handle. So I'm going to click on the Froster WhatsApp number. Then it's taking me to the WhatsApp message section. I want to expose you to one thing, one very important thing if you are dealing with people about business on internet now i contact this company that claimed to be a merchant of alipay funding in 2023 you can imagine their whatsapp is here is telling me in 2021 you need to be very careful here this is another red flag the first red flag if you are following this video the first red flag was where you have their posting many that does not have like have about 2,000 followers account that does not have at least 50 likes on each posting. No interaction of human being on their on their Instagram handle. No posting, no comment, nothing. So that is number one red flag. The number two red flag here should be the dates here. Okay. Now when I contact them, I say hello. Do you fund Alipay? Say hello. How much do you need? Just follow me with the chat. I asked, what is your rate? So he told me the same amount he gave to the lady that was got scammed by him. He said 110. I said, okay, what is minimum you can fund? He said 1,000 yuan right here. I said, okay, that's much for me. Okay, hope. How much do you need? I said, can you fund 300 yuan? Right? He said, he was responding to me very faster. Believe me, I can do for 111 and I will fund you. I said, please, let me pay 110. I will bring more people for you. So I'm doing all this just to get some relevant information from this guy. So he said, your MOQ is low. I said, after, after this, I will increase it and I just need this as sharp. Now, he gave me a calculation right here. He gave me a calculation right here that I'm paying. He's going to sell it for me at 110.5 multiplied by 300, which is the amount I'm going to uh, I'm going to pay in Naira. I'm going to pay him according to his calculation. I'm going to pay him 33,150. Now, let's see where the game begins. Now, I say, okay, how do you transact? He said, I will confirm deposit, then proceed with RMB funding. This is a normal way for every RMB exchanger. There is no any exchanger that will ask you to submit your Alipay, to get the Alipay funding before you pay the, before you pay the exchange currency. Nobody. The only way you can see things like this is when the relationship have grown beyond recognition. And once you pay, so I say, okay, how can I trust you? This is where my question starts. How did you find us? I decide not to say anything. Because I said, because this is my first time dealing with you. Now, we, we are reliable exchange vendor. I say, okay, can I have your details? So this is the detail he gave me. The same thing he gave to the lady that got scammed. And please and please, if you are watching this video from Nigerian and you know how we can possibly track this person, because this lady here in question that was got scammed by this corner, by this froster, he tried to report to banks. What bank had is that he, she should go to uh to go and get a lawyer to help him uh, to help her seek advice on how to get a court order before they can freeze this particular account. So after freezing this account, they can she can get her money back. But we all know Nigerian to get a court order in Nigerian is something tough. 
In fact, the amount you are going to spend in the process of getting a court order might even be more than the money you got scammed with. So this is why so many people that operate this kind of fraudulent business, they go freely. They do it freely in Nigeria. I have to say this. They do it freely in Nigeria because, in fact, I can say maybe government, I don't really know the kind of policy government is putting in place in a, in a situation like this. Because for you to get a court order, I have someone that fought into this victim in the past and getting a court order, the process, the, the cash involved, you may get, uh, you, may, you may not even have interest in everything to, than to forget about the scam. But if you are watching this video from Nigeria and you know how we can track this, this account detail from this particular micro, microfinance bank, please and please, you can reach me on WhatsApp via the number in the description of this video. Or you can put your WhatsApp contact or your email contact in the description or uh, in the comment section of this video. I will reply to whatever uh, you, you information you have for me on how we can track this account number and get this lady uh, money back. So, okay. I said, okay, let's continue. Can I add you on Alipay? Then he asked me my Alipay account number. So I further with my question here say, states that I may give me your number and I will send you a friend request. Now he insisted that I drop yours and I can send you. I will send a request from here. I say okay. Now and I told her that I told him here that I can't find this VFD bank. Is is it not a Nigerian bank? I presume. Well, I'm just trying to play along with him. I know this microfinance bank was listed on Nigeria mobile app. So I'm just trying to play along with it. I said, he said, now it is a Nigerian bank. If you check out, if you take a look at the time interval between the charts and the response, you see that this person here really mean business. Okay. Now he asked me, where are you sending from? I said, GT. So if you are a Nigerian, you should know GT bank. So he said, he now writes the full name of the bank. VFD Microfinance Bank. What I notice about all this microfinance bank is that I don't think they are doing a proper KYC before they open an account with for you. Because most of the froster that do online scams, they mostly use microfinance bank or all this mini app like Opay, things like that. Because I think the transaction into this type of bank cannot be traceable. Okay. So we are still working on that. Say, okay. I said, I, uh, it now told me that you will find it on GT app. Now I keep quiet. After some minutes, so this is exactly to five. Now it was disturbed. He's expecting me to transfer money. Okay. Now he boosts me again. Hello, this is 513. So now I now ask the lady, do you still have a proof of payment that you send money to this person and they did not credit your early pay? She said yes. She said yes. Then I asked for it. Now she sent it to me. So right here, now what I now, the final co co communication between me and this froster was that, can you please tell me why this person was not funded after sending you money for 500 early pay? I need a sincere response. Immediately you read the message, you can see the end of discussion. Now, let me bring out the transaction detail. So this is the transaction detail that this lady does. So this transaction was carried out 15th of July, 2023. So for you to know that this is a very fresh case and the money scam was uh, 55,000. It's a huge amount of money. To be sincere, it's a huge amount of money. And I feel so much sorry for the victim and I'm fairly sure that this person behind this froster and scam people from their hard hand money get in, in the process of sourcing for RMB, one day will be one day you will definitely be caught. If you are watching from Nigeria and you know how we can track this particular account detail, please and please message me on my WhatsApp or you drop your contact detail in the comment section or you send me mail. I will definitely be very glad to hear from you. And lastly, let me show you their WhatsApp number for the very last time. And uh, make sure you save this number and make sure you share all this video 
So this is the Froster WhatsApp number. And you can see their fake logo or so. So make sure you take note of all this information so you don't lose guard and you don't lose money. It is very hard to find a reliable Alipay merchant, but at the same time, there are still thousands of a trusted and a reliable Alipay merchant that can fund your Alipay without any stress. This is what I have for you as far as fake Alipay merchants caught and exposed from Instagram and WhatsApp step-by-step -step tutorial. I hope you learn a lot of tips as far as funding your of your Alipay is concerned. Thank you so much for watching this video from the beginning to the end. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.